What's up you guys? T today I have a really really funny battle for you guys and I did randomize his team. You can see it right here on the screen and it's a Bonnet, Cactor, and a Perugly, Corsola, Pelipper, and Haruyama. And yeah, this team is very very weird. Um, I'm not really sure what sets I should put, especially on the Pelipper because I've never used a Pelipper before. But I don't know, it kind of works out in the end. I really do like the course less at the most. I have been kind of messing around with that a little bit. So either way, hope you guys enjoy this NU battle. Um, this, this is a very very lucky and very weird battle. So hope you guys like it. Either way. I'm going to start with my Cacturn while he starts with an Executor. I'm pretty sure he can't really do anything to me, but he goes for a Sleep Powder, and I'm like, uh, that's really frustrating, because I was going to go for a Sword Stance. But either way, he's going to switch out, go into his Masquerade. I decided to stay in just to see what he would do, and now I'm kind of scared because he probably does pack the Bug Buzz and Quiver Dance, just like any Masquerade would. And now I'm going to switch into my Pelipper while he decides to set up the Quiver Dance. My Pelipper is specially defensive bulky, so I'm pretty sure I can take any hit this, Pelip this Masquerade has. Um, but he goes for an Air Slash, and that's doing a little bit of damage, but it is going to be uh, not that bad because I'm gonna get a toxic but he has a lumberry and I'm like really now really now and now he's gonna go for another air slash and guess what he gets a freaking flinch ah. so now I'm like crap this is bad I don't want my Pelipper to die right now. I need my Pelipper for later. So I'm going to switch out, go into my Corsola to take the Air Slash because I do resist that because I'm part rock. And I do take it very nicely considering I don't have any specially, special defense investment. So now I thought he might switch out here. But he's actually going to go for the Hydro Pump Misses, which is kind of unfortunate for him. I'm going to decide to set up Stealth Rocks, and now I know he's going to go for another Hydro Pump, so I'm going to reveal to him my super, super secret special move after he goes for Hydro Pump, but misses my Mirror Coat. But he, he missed there, which is kind of sad, and I'm like, oh, well this is awkward. Is he going to attack me again? I decided to take a risk and think he might go for another attack and he does and the hydro pump does hit me and i'm gonna be able to take it out with a mirror code i think he thought that uh one hydro pump would be enough to take down the course love but it's not that's totally cool so yay for course love so now he's gonna go into probe pass and i'm pretty sure um he might set up rocks so i'm gonna decide to go into my pelipper before uh he sets up the rocks so i don't have to take so much damage but he actually goes for a thunder wave which I guess really isn't too bad since Pelipper isn't that fast either way. And so I don't really mind the paralysis. Much better than the toxic either way. So he's going to set up Stealth Rocks thinking I can't really do anything to him. Which is totally cool because I'm going to go for a soak. And yeah, if you seen like some water pokes you soak you know what kind of set this is this is a very stally set he's gonna go for power gem which isn't gonna do that much to me and i'm gonna go for the toxic oh uh, yeah i poisoned the promo pass that's amazing so yeah power gem is gonna be doing a little under a quarter so i'm pretty sure i can live this next power gem and he almost kills me with max damage i'm like oh that was close but either way i do not get paral par paralyzed and i get a roost off, which is nice. So now I can basically stall this probo pass because um, I can just roost stall him, roost stall him, roost stall him. So he decides he's gonna switch out and go to his Ursaring because he knows it's not a good situation. And I'm not really too afraid of this Ursaring because I still do have the Bonnet on my team. I can play a little bit of mind games on him, but. For now, um, I just want to stall out a few turns of Toxic and just leave my Pelipper as fodder, but he actually smartly goes for a Sword Stance to boost his damage up, while I'm just going to go for a Roost, try to brace myself for this next facade, because I know it's going to hurt a lot. And I know I can't take it, but I have to fodder my Pelipper now, because I really don't want anything else on my team to take the facade. I wasn't sure if he was going to predict my switch in a Bonnet at all, so... Either way, I'm going to go into my Perugly, because I do pack the Fake Out, so I know I can stall one more turn of Toxic while doing a pretty decent amount of damage to this Earth Ring, which is very, very nice. This is a really weird Perugly set, by the way, as you're going to see later on. So now I'm going to switch out. I'm really hoping he goes for a Facade, so I can my Bonnet can basically wall that thing. So I'm going to hope he doesn't predict that switch in a Bonnet, and he doesn't, which is very nice, because he's going to go for a close combat, going to be immune to it, take it like a beast, and <laughs> he's, his Earth Ring's going to die now, which is very nice. 
So now he here he's gonna switch into Proba Pass. I think I might go for another T Wave because I saw it earlier. Because I don't know why else he would go into Proba Pass. So I'm gonna go into my Tack Turn to take the T Wave since I already do have the Sleep status on me, and he does go for T Wave, which is very nice. So now. Here, I'm hoping my cat turn can wake up. This is a very good situation for me because I do pack the Drain Punch and Sword Stance. So I'm really hoping I can go for a Drain Punch or a Sword Stance right here. But uh, he does get a crit with Power Gem. And this kind of mattered, I want to say. Because uh, next turn, I'm really hoping I can wake up from the sleep and kill him with a Drain Punch. But I don't. Which is very sad because, I mean, like... That would have really helped a lot, and had he not gotten the crit, I would have gotten one more chance to wake up, and I might have waken up right there, which would have helped a lot this battle, but unfortunately, some things just don't work out. So I'm going to go into my Hariyama to scare him out uh, with a close combat. I decided to just play it safe. He actually goes into Executor to take the close combat, which is a good play on his part. I could have predicted that switch and gone for an Ice Punch, but mainly I just wanted to switch into my Hariyama to make sure I get the Toxic Boost right here, because I am uh, running a Get set and max attack, so just wanted the toxic. Either way, I'm gonna go into my Bennett uh, to take a hit on Executor. I doubt it could take one. I do live the Psy Shock here, though, however, which is very, very cool. And now I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch, kill that Executor. I am running a choice ban on this Bennett, so my Bennett is packing quite a bit of a punch. And now he's going to go into his Probe Pass. I decided to leave Bennett as fodder because I'm going to die to the Stealth Rock switch in either way. And I do get a crit here, which really doesn't matter because a crit on Probe Pass did like nothing either way. So he's going to finish me off with the Power Gem. And that's totally cool. So now I'm going to switch and go into my... um. Uh, Hariyama, uh, just once again scare him out with a close combat. Now that the Executor is dead, he must leave this Proba Pass in as fodder, which is very nice, because I'm going to kill this thing, and that's one more Pokemon down. So now, he's going to go into a Heat more, and I'm really scared. I can't stay in with my Hariyama, because even though I have a huge amount of HP, I am at minus one special defense from the close combat. So I'm going to go into Corsola to take whatever fire move this thing is going to use on my uh, Hariyama. But he actually uh, misses this heat wave right here, which is which really didn't matter, because I do four times resist that heat wave. But... Eh, either way, um, now I'm not sure if he ha packs any kind of hidden power or anything like that, but he actually reveals to me he has the Focus Blast, and I'm like, oh god, this is bad, because the problem is that my my uh, Hariyama doesn't pack Fake Out, I pack Bullet Punch, and I'm pretty sure a Bullet Punch won't kill the Heat more, because I think... Fire is a steel, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, I, either way, I'm gonna go into Imperugly, go for a fake out. And right now, I'm like, shoot, what should I do right now? Fake out isn't doing enough that I need. I need to be super lucky. I do pack the assist, and I'm like, okay, maybe if I use assist, I have a slight chance to win if I get like close combat or scald. So, he's gonna go for sucker punch, but. It actually misses because I'm going to go for the assist, like I said. And assist doesn't count as attacking move. So I'm going to go for the assist. Hope I get a lucky move. Hope, 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 hope. Dispense. And I get a scald. Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. And I'm going to kill that heat more. Oh, that was such. That was like 100% luck. I'm telling you guys right now. That was so lucky. Like, I don't have anything for that heat more. That is absolutely ridiculous. Thank God. And I was going to go into Caracosta. And unfortunately for him. Him, I do pack the taunt, so I'm gonna go for the taunt to prevent him from shell smashing. Because if he shell smashes right here, it's game. I don't have anything for this Caracosta. And thank god I get pull off the taunt, can't shell smash, perfect. Now I'm gonna go for the assist, and now I'm really hoping I get a seed bomb or a close combat to finish this up. Um, but unfortunately, I get a roost, which actually isn't that bad, because I'm going to heal up my HP while he's going to go for the waterfall, and actually, with the HP recovery, I do live the waterfall, which is really funny. So now I do get one more turn to assist, hopefully finish off this Caracosta with style, and I'm hoping I can get the Seed Bomb or Close Combat or whatever move that's good, but I get Stealth Rocks, out of all the moves I could have picked. Lovely. And 
now, unfortunately, he is going to kill off my Progly. But that's totally cool, because that now his taunt's finally over. But now I can switch into my Hariyama. I know I can take any move from this Karakosta, since it can't really do anything without a Shell Smash. So I'm just going to outspeed this Karakosta, go for a close combat for the win. So that was a great game. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Yeah, the assist with the Progly did get really, really lucky, I'll admit. But... I mean, sometimes you you have to play with luck, like I always say. And he, like my opponent didn't complain about it. He was laughing with me too, cause it was just such it was so funny. So either yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, or if you want, if you guys want me to use any other really weird sets like that Perugly. So yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys around.